Keller, thank you for being here today. I want you to tell me where you're from. Denver, Colorado. Okay, so you flew in last night. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what prompted you to make that that plane trip? Um, I came because I've spent about 20 years grinding my teeth, and um, I'm in pain all the time, and this this made sense to me. That's why I'm here. Okay, so you did your own research on what it is that we do, which is DTR or disclusion time reduction. Yes. Can you tell me where your pain starts? You were pointing to this area in the jaw. Is it, is it always in the jaw or does it move? Um, so I have pain here, but also it, it's always tight in here and here, always. And I firmly believe that everything in the body is connected. Um, and so I believe that those things are connected as well. Do you, do you wake up with a tired jaw or sore neck, sore shoulders? Mm -hmm. Does it, is it something that gets better um, throughout the day or does it get worse or? Um, it can get worse if I get really tired or I've been doing a lot of computer work all day um, or, you know, just additional stress, but it, it's sort of like it's always at this level. And so it can go up, but it's like it never goes down below that level. It's not like it ever gets better. So this has been a, a chronic thing for you for how long? About 20 years. About 20 years, okay. Um, no headaches? <clears throat> not really. I mean, I occasionally get headaches like everybody else, but no, I haven't. So I'm really lucky from what people have told me. Sure, sure. What about um, pain in the cheek muscles or popping and clicking in the joints? Yeah. To both, yeah. Um, is it both joints or is it just one joint over another? It seems, I mean, sometimes it's both. It seems like it's more on this side, but. Left side, okay. Well, what about uh, a comfortable home for your teeth? Do you have, would you say that you have a, a home base or a repeatable position in which you can close your teeth? No. No, okay. So you have multiple bites. Does it change? Like some days that sensation is worse than others, or some days it's better? I mean, it's always that it's like, oh, well, which, which side do I bite down on? Because it's not like I bite down on both sides at one time. Okay. All right. Interesting. Is there anything else I've left out as far as the symptoms that you would attribute to this? No, those are really my symptoms. Okay. Yeah. All right. How good do you sleep at night? Um, I usually sleep pretty good, but I attribute that to the fact that I've really learned how to sleep good. Um, and so I put a lot of time and effort into relaxing myself, my mind, my body, which makes it even more frustrating that it's like this part never relaxes never does. Just I can do as much exercise, as much meditation, as much hypnosis, as much deep breathing, and it never relaxes, ever. Okay. So would you say that um, these symptoms and with the bite, has that um, diminished your quality of life? Um, yeah. I mean, chronic pain is never good. Sure, sure. And um, no one out in your area does this? No one that I could find. Um, I know that you said there was another individual, but I couldn't find that person online or anything. Okay. Um, I did try a lot of other things. Um, I've been to, I went to a neurology person, I went to you know, a regular doctor, I went to an osteopath, I went to a chiropractor, I've gone to various massage, uh, physical therapists, I mean, I've done a lot, and it's never made a difference. Um, and I can go to someone who does massage on my mouth, or a chiropractor, and they're like, wow, that's really tight. And it just stays that way. 
Yeah, you mentioned quite an array of healthcare providers. How many dentists have you seen for this? Probably around over the years, because it's been 20 years. Sure. So probably over the years, probably 12, 15. Okay. Any of them attribute any of your symptoms to it being an issue with your bite? Um, no. The last dentist that I went to who was the first one who actually proposed anything to help with it, um, gave me a stent, which in his words, it's not going to keep me from grinding, but I won't be as good a grinder. But it wasn't about how do we make the bite better. It was just like, how do we try to protect you from yourself, but you're never going to get any better. It's incredibly frustrating because, yeah, do I believe that it's protecting my teeth? Probably. I mean, that makes sense. If you're grinding, it probably makes sense. But it, my jaw hurts as much when I go to sleep as when I wake up. And it's like, okay, maybe I'm protecting my teeth, but it's not, it's not helping. Sure, sure. Okay. Um, so have you had any imaging, like an MRI or anything, to rule out other sources of pain? Um, I had um, an MRI. Um, I've had a couple. I had one when I had... Um, uh, herniated disc, and then I recently, well, a couple of years ago, had um, appendicitis and had another MRI. Um, so nothing's ever shown up based on that. Sure. Did the neurologist give you any any insight as to what this could be? I mean, no. I mean, his response and a lot of other people's response is no. You shouldn't be in pain. It everything's normal. It's okay. I'm like, I have a lot of things to do with my time. I don't need to decide that I'm gonna go see another doctor today because I just am making it up in my mind. I mean, so I've had a lot of people just say, no, it's you're okay, you know. And now, now it's you're okay. You're just getting older. I'm like, mm. it's frustrating. Yeah. I can't even imagine how frustrating that must be. Well, look, we're going to run some tests today. Hopefully, we'll we'll make some adjustments and get you on the path to feeling better. But this is like any other procedure, and no one can tell you what the results are going to be without doing it. Mm -hmm. So um, you are a candidate for it. Any questions for me before we get rolling? Let's do it. Hey, Keller, we've had our first round of DTR revisions for the bike, and you're smiling. <laughs> tell, tell me what's going on. I'm like, I'm like, I have to talk, but it's just, my mouth is just getting more and more relaxed, which it's been years. So I'm like, so I'm sorry, I'm smiling. That's um, good. I'm also, for the first time, as long as I can remember, I can bite down and hit both sides, the left and the right at the same time, which I haven't been able to do. I don't, can't remember the last time I could. So it's just, it's the, the bite's completely different. Um, yeah, I don't feel like I have to kind of rock from side to side with it. That's, it's amazing. Is it fair to say that when you bring your teeth together, you have a repeatable home? Mm-hmm. Okay. Totally. Excellent. Is it fair to say that when you bring your teeth together, you have more room in the back? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. And what about moving your jaw to the right or the left when I was having you do those exercises? Does it feel like you're not having to struggle and go over speed bumps to do it? Yeah, it, my jaw feels 
much more relaxed and yet able to move as well. Yeah. Good. Well, that's it's amazing. That will. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> And all we did was measure. I mean, amazing. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's amazing what can be accomplished. And I always use the term of you know who would buy a house from a builder, from a guy who didn't have a tape measure and just eyeballed his cuts and you know where he was gonna. Would you expect the door to always open and shut the same way? And um, no, we wouldn't. We would probably struggle with houses and. And somehow it would still be the, the buyer's fault and not the architect's, right? <laughs> and so that that, that uh, example is analogous to what we're doing with the bike. We're just measuring and, and taking away the problem zones. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there are teeth in your mouth that I didn't even touch. Is that fair to say? That's absolutely true. Yeah. Yes. And so, you know, some of the blue dots are bad. We remove those, and some of the blue dots are good. And the only way you know the difference between good and bad is you got to measure and quantitate. So I'm happy for you. I am so happy. This is this is truly amazing, and I can't believe that so many more people aren't doing it because it it just it makes sense. I mean, just from a mathematical, scientific perspective, it just makes sense. And I can't even begin to tell you the difference. I can feel and I've been here for four hours and I've been trying to fix this problem for 20 years. So, thank you. Well, you're very welcome. Welcome back. You had uh, DTR with us um, at the end of last week. It's Monday. I just wanted to get a feel and ask you, you know, what's, what's different? What do you notice? Um, well, one of the more dramatic things I notice is that I've always had pain here, always hurt. Um, and I would wake up with it hurting even more, so I knew that I was grinding and clenching all night. And the last several nights I haven't felt that. I can feel things like moving around, sort of, but that pain is gone, gone. Um, so I also just sort of, I can f just kind of feel things or kind of, moving and settling and um, but and I can still hit both of my back teeth at the same time which is pretty cool <laughs> touch touching down at the same time mm -hmm. both sides good so well are you glad you came out and oh yeah um, you were also right that I had a screaming headache on Friday yeah. um, but that went away so I I, the only thing about, I am glad I came out, the only thing is I wish I'd been able to come sooner. I mean, it is amazing the difference it's made. That's great. So thank you. Well, good. You're welcome. So let me back up just one thing. How did you sleep um, Friday night, or what, uh, how did you sleep Thursday night? Uh, what did you feel Friday morning besides mm -hmm. that the pain wasn't there? Um, my whole face just felt, um, I guess my whole face felt sort of like looser. I mean, it was like I, I sort of imagined myself. I mean, I, fit, I consider myself a fairly positive person um, and enjoy to um, laugh and smile. But I just was sort of struck on how much easier it is to smile now, which is kind of crazy, but true. Anything else that you can think of that would be of interest? Of interest. <laughs> Um, I think what would be of interest is that I, this has already changed the quality of my life. Um, I can't believe that everyone isn't doing this, both patient and dentist, because it's made a huge difference. Huge. Did I mention huge difference? <laughs> you did. <laughs> but I, I, I appreciate that. You know, it's funny because, um, not that it's funny, it's, it's actually kind of sad that the majority of dentists think that this is technology that they don't need, yet occlusion affects so many facets of dentistry, you know, orthodontics, prosthodontics, pedodontics, endodontics, I mean it just goes, 
the general dentistry. <clears throat> and to, to a point, uh, oral surgery, how can you put an implant in and not know how much load is on that implant? Mm -hmm. So whether we want to admit it or not, <clears throat> the, the dental profession just does not agree on occlusion. And that's okay if we agree or don't agree, but wouldn't you think we should be measuring? Yes. And that what you're experiencing, the difference between what is a measured bite and what is a non-measured bite. And that's really all it is. This, while, while this is new conceptually, it's not. It's actually in every single occlusion textbook. But if you don't have a computer, you will not see it. Wow. So that's what we're dealing with. Wow. Yeah. In every textbook. In every single textbook. In fact, when I lecture, I actually go through every textbook because the naysayers and the critics, people say, this is, this is just gimmicks. Like, you don't really need that. That's just a gadget. And I'm like, well, then clearly you're getting the same results that I get where a patient goes home or back to the hotel and text you the next day, hey, my jaw doesn't hurt. And the reality is, when we have this debate and this friendly banter back and forth, it generally stops at that point because they aren't getting the same results. And if they were, mm -hmm. they'd be making YouTube videos, they'd be publishing, they'd be telling the world. I have been to a ton of dentists that have used that little blue tape again and again. And one of the things nobody's ever asked me is, does your mouth still hurt? Does your jaw still hurt? It's like that's, that's no man's land. Nobody, nobody wants to ask you that question because I think that they already know the answer. They feel the answer. Yeah. Well, and it requires, it requires, it demands that you measure because you're guessing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it requires that you have to learn something new and bring something back. And you have to make an investment, not only in your, in your practice, but in your patients' lives, too. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, we can't correct all the, all the ills of the world, uh, certainly not all the ills in dentistry, but um, <laughs> this is a nice start, so I'm glad you're doing better. I am doing so much better. I can't Th begin thank to thank you enough. Well, Man. thank you for, for allowing me to be a part of your journey, and thank you for allowing me to share your story. I appreciate it.